Madden Football is the home of Super Bowl 57. And this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Jaguars and the Bears, and it's all up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. We count down to kick off in what should be an epic win here. As it'll be the AFC champion, Jacksonville Jaguars, taking on the NFC champions, the Chicago Bears. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. Uh, Charles, I don't think too many folks around the NFL saw this one coming. This is a Jacksonville team that's had a lot of forgettable seasons really since their arrival in the league. But now here they are making their first appearance on Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah, you're exactly right. They were close a few years ago, losing the AFC Championship game in New England. And early in their tenure, they got to an AFC Championship game. But you're right about the number of forgettable seasons. Here they are, one of four teams coming into this year. The Browns, the Texans, and the Lions, the other three, that had never played in a Super Bowl. They've taken care of that now. And now they want to win this one. Meanwhile, it has been a roller coaster ride in Chicago the last few years. They've been up, they've been down, they've had double doinks, but now. So here's the first drive now for the Jags. It's second down now. Bulldozes past him. And now he picks up the spare. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. On play action, they'll throw. That's caught, it's Dan Arnold, the tight end. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Throw left side complete. That's Arnold. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 40. They're going to look to throw. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And a catch made by his tight end, Luke Farrell. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 28. They'll set up a throw. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. It's their quarterback. 28 yards. And the Jaguars are an extra point away. So time to see Jacksonville again all offense for the second time here in this game. With the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Now back to throw. Pass the 20. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. And that is a historic one for our partner. With that pickup, he just broke Lamar Jackson's 2019 record for most yards in a season by a quarterback. 
No one has done it better across a 16 or 17 game schedule. That game will be for every week for the best runners to ever play at that position. They go play action here on first down. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the Super Bowl as they have taken the lead. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, if that's is all he gets, he'll just sit there down and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And he'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. Here comes a field general leading his offense back out there for the next position. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Oh, he bowls over it. He did it again. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. And second down. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. A play action fake. They'll look to throw. He's going to let this one go deep. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. On third down, he'll drop the throw. Pushes him over. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. We have reached the two-minute warning. In fact, just under two minutes to play in the opening half of this year's Super Bowl. The Jaguars ready to go on offense for the final time in this first half. Here we go, here we go. They'll start by running the option to the right. It'll be a pickup of five on the keeper. It's second down. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Second and five. And that is incomplete, stopping the clock with five seconds to go. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. And Ingram holds it in. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. So we've reached halftime here in the Super Bowl. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight. As we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. We continue on with the check of the next gen. So the halftime. The Jaguars ready to get going to start quarter number three. And they trail here in the Super Bowl, but fortunately for them, Charles, very much still within striking range. Yeah, things didn't go exactly the way they planned in the first half. To me, they appeared to be a little bit tight, made a few errors they normally wouldn't. But of course, this is the Super Bowl, so things get a little bit heightened in that regard. But I think they have to feel a little fortunate. They're only down what they are here starting the third quarter. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. He'll drop to throw. Completes it to Evan Ingram. Down the numbers. There he goes. Touchdown, Jaguars. Evan Ingram, 55 yards. And the Jaguars are an extra point away from taking the lead. Try and start this drive in the air. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. And quickly, they get to the line. Back to throw now on first down. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Got his 
Jaguars, man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Marvin Jones, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Jaguars have regained. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want a carbon copy. What happened? On first down, he'll drop to throw. Oh, good move. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. And the offense moving quickly to the line. They'll look to throw now on first down. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. And cue the applause, and there it is for him. The mark he's been aiming for all season long. 1,000 yards. Just the third quarterback to reach that milestone. Joining Lamar Jackson. Folks, welcome back to the biggest stage in sports, the Super Bowl. And now we get down to the good stuff. The fourth and final quarter. Running right. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. A great play there with his third touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Jags are starting to pull away in the fourth quarter. Jacksonville set to go again offensively. And the tension ratcheting up all around. A one-score game, fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. This is what you folks came for. Every play with the potential to win or lose a title as they look to drain some time off this clock. Shifts by him. And he will finally be escorted out of bounds down inside the 35. It's a big play for the Jaguars. 43 yards. They'll look to throw here on first down. He's got his big tight end for a complete. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward left. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Luke Farrell, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Jaguars will add to their fourth quarter lead. This offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And they'll begin by running the option. Taking it right down Broadway. Touchdown, Jaguars. A big play there with a record fourth Super Bowl touchdown tonight. And the Jaguars are feeling good as they extend their lead in the Super Bowl. And that rushing touchdown is fourth, puts him just one shot. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And the punter's on the sideline. Here's the field goal unit now to try an exceptionally long one. And this will be called officially a 66-yard attempt. Now, Charles, all things considered, I guess that's not a critical miss at this stage, is it? No, but still everything helps when you're trying to finish off a ball game. And you're right, not critical in terms of the score. Well, the Jaguars getting set to go. They'll start by running the option to the right. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. Second down at six now from the 42. And we've got a 
timeout. Nine seconds remaining. Looks like he'll throw here. And that one goes incomplete. They tried something out of the bag of tricks, but it's incomplete and now second down. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. Throw that up a little too far, brings up third down. And the Jaguars have done it. Jacksonville, the Super Bowl champions. And to the Super Bowl champions, they etch their name forever in NFL immortality. That's pretty phenomenal right there. It actually gave me chills just to hear you say that because immortality forever and ever. When you look in the record books, you'll see this team, you'll see their picture, that your name will be a part of it. That's got to be an incredible feeling because it's been a long journey to get there, and now they get a chance to enjoy it.